Bunge evening. Actually, it's a bunge afternoon. We got Papa Sal. We got uh, new growth on the lemon tree. Did you see that? Look at that. It shot out a new stem. We're gonna we're gonna be great. We're gonna have a lot of lemons. Um, we got Mrs. Vittles over here doing what she does. Yeah. What's she making them? Chopping stuff. I'm making some soup later. And uh, it's hard to see because the w the window in the background here. So there we go. Hey hey oh. What, are you, wow. what were you eating? I walk in here. I walk in every I time I walk in. I you're eating, eating something. Uh, Parmigiano, Parmigiano, tomato. Uh, so are you excited about Saturday? Well, the new episodes uh, the new are simply large. Of course, very I'm excited. Of course, I'm. You're gonna get to see Papa Sal. You see a lot of familiar faces. Make sure you guys tune in. There's gonna be a Twitter party. Mrs. Vitali is gonna be li live tweeting. I'll be live tweeting. That would be um, at Laura's so are we kitchen. A party? Yeah, you're gonna be here, right? Wait, did you tell him? Are you coming Saturday? You work. I work. No, take off. This is more important. Okay, no, but... Up to you. Mrs. Vitaly's on a roll. Every word I say would make you laugh. How can you not know what that's from? I don't know what that's from. It's forever, Uncle Jesse from Full House. Uh, oh, well, Fuller House uh, is out now. I know. So what this is, know um, <laughs> you made mini baklavas years ago. Yeah, but this now, is Now, you're getting the one. full blown. Not traditional, but the more, you know, the full one. Look, there's no such thing as traditional. Everybody has something different going on. Everybody. Mm -hmm. All right, but there's not going to be any walnuts. Hey, oh, hey, oh. I, I gotta guess this one. Come on. Mm -hmm. Time's time is of the essence here. Simply Laura comes out in just a few days. Who's ready? And I'm so excited. I lost it. A beautiful chicken soup from the lovely Mrs. Vittles. We have That's a. Right. This is the second time this week I get to have jerk chicken. Thank yeah. you very much. This somebody went to the Ovolo. What in the world is that? <laughs> somebody went to the Ovolo <laughs> concert and um, had a fantastic time. All right, we. And this I'm one, embarrassed by her. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All yeah. right, let me explain. So. Quickly, quick. Uh, oh. All right. Oh. No, wait, can I explain? All right. So basically, John Luca, one of the singers, he kissed me on the forehead, on the cheek and forehead. Excuse me. You see me. that? Mm hmm True story. I know. It was amazing. I have pictures to prove it. So. <laughs> oh, and the Oscars are on tonight. Do you think Leo's gonna win? I hope. I definitely think he's gonna win. I think so. Definitely. People say that every year. Though. I'm, I'm no, digging it. No, but like to, this year really is his year. He already won a Golden Globe. He won every other. Every other thing, anywhere. Mm. He's got this. I hope. A bajillion times this recipe has been requested on www.laraintheKitchen.com. And guess right. what? There's some marshmallow filling, filling for it and some things back there that look like cookies. Anyone want to mm. take a wild guess as to what this might be? You tell me. You tell me. I'll tell you what, it's a delicious one. I tried some earlier. And um, they're quite wonderful. She's a bagel making machine right here. Mm. That's really, this is, these are phenomenal. I never want to go buy I a bagel again. My upper body. I've made about four. Um, well, everybody keeps eating them all. I know. My, my sister and my brother wanted some last night, yesterday. So I made them bagels. I made another batch this morning, which I don't know if you saw upstairs. Um, because You're I just a bagel making fool. I wanted to see, because I know this dough works really well fresh, and I wanted to see if I could do a slow rise in the fridge and if it would work. And it worked perfectly. So this morning I made fresh bagels this morning. I made them on Friday. Like, I, they're just amazing, and they're really not that difficult to do. They're just... I'm telling you, there's bagels everywhere. Little cream cheese. Now, I'm a fan of the strawberry cream cheese. I'm curious because... She does not like the strawberry cream cheese. What no. do you guys think? Flavored cream cheese, regular like cream cheese, stuff. onion cream cheese is really good. Mm -hmm. I'm a fan of plain. Really what I'm a fan of, like if you agree, toasted bagel smeared with European butter. Mm -hmm. like, so That's it, that butter like, that tastes like it's from Europe. It's very good. That's the kind of bagel I'm into. All right, let's All roll. Right, let's, let's roll. Let's roll these. So this is a really cool method, guys. This is not like a donut. You cut the donut out with a cutter thing, and you roll the bagel out with the rollers, mm -hmm. AKA the fingers. This is not to be confused with a donut. Not at all. It is a bagel shaping hmm. technique. So I don't know, you might see this video. You might have already seen it. Yeah, depends on when you're watching this vlog. But um, if you saw the bagels, let us know what you think of them. Because they're quite is, wonderful. Oh no, we're out of time on this thing. Hold the funny on. Funny thing is, I am right handed, so I'm so dominant with my right side of my body and my arm. My right arm is. But you don't realize how much you just you really prefer to use one part mm -hmm. of your body until you work with a lot of dough. Are you try to write and your so name? This this arm really is naturally more toned than this arm because I just 
you know, roll, 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 or stir, whatever. So this arm is like more, every time I do a lot of workouts or I bake a lot, this arm is always more sore than this arm. Yes, okay. what the lighting is so strange because we are in a tunnel. We're a tunnel, we in Lincoln Tunnel. We're in the Lincoln Tunnel because I, um, we have a meeting today, a lunch meeting. So I'm excited because I love New York City and I love it even more when the weather is 60 degrees and it's sunny. There's not a single trickle of wind in the air. It's just perfection. So I'm really excited about that. Um, that's about it really. What a gorgeous day. It's just a little cold. It's 49. Cross, we gotta go straight. All right, so that place right there, Mexico Lindo. By the way, it was incredible. Yeah, I know. It's like 20 degrees colder. It is nice. That place right there is incredible. So if you ever have a chance to come here, make sure you check it out. We gotta book it. We gotta go to lunch. We got a lunch meeting today. Uh, we're like uh, four blocks away, but we'll be all right quietest street in all of New York City. I don't know about Oh, all. I hear music now. Yeah. But it, oh, it's like a dance out here. Dance time. It was very um very good meeting. Loved it. Nice walk. I'm still freezing even though Laura begs to differ. It is not freezing. It's 48 degrees. It's cold. I just walked in the door and look what I find. What's my knife? Oh. This one. Oh. Always at it. Always at it. Always at it. What do we have here? We have garlic sizzling. A pan of something delicious that I don't know what. What in the world is this? Listen, don't ask. What you got going on? I was making some um, cauliflower. Cauliflower patties. Uh, not fritters, but mm. so big. It but. smells so good in here. It's like I, I live in the best restaurant in the world. So let's see what she does with this one, folks. And look at that. We went from how much kale to that much kale. <laughs> well, technically, there's two two things of it, and a nice bowl of. Is that cilantro and scallions? Cilantro and scallions. Mm -mm -mm. I know the kale and the asparagus don't technically go with my stuffed peppers, but... You know what? Um, it is what it is. I had it on hand, first of all. And I cannot... I, I cannot have a meal without lots of greens. It's just... I know. I can't do it. These are some of my favorites. <laughs> it's so, too. like, with that... It's not just so necessarily greens, but, like, without loads and loads of um, vegetables, because I... I I'm a fan. <laughs> I'm a fan too. I could eat vegetables all day long. In fact, but I could totally go for like a fridge full of vegetables 24 hours a day. Celery, there. carrots, you know, it okay. is there. We usually do have quite, a, <laughs> quite our share of veggies in there. You know, we are really uh, very blessed that we live in an area in South Jersey, even now and where we used to live before, we're surrounded by farms. We're surrounded by lots of, oh. Hey, oh, hey, oh, oh. Timer. We're surrounded by farms, we're surrounded by nurseries and greenhouses, so there's a lot of local produce, especially it's, like now that the spring is coming. I can't wait. And summer's coming, every corner here will have a farmer's market open. And it's like, there's to, for me, there's no excuse not to just like run down the street and get some fresh veggies, so. So Saturday, 10.30 a.m. Eastern time. Make sure you're there. The announcement video is going up on Laura in the kitchen probably in a couple hours, maybe tomorrow, depending on where you I are. I am having the Twitter party. Make sure you come so, to Twitter. At 10.30 a.m. Eastern, I will be tweeting live the entire That's time. We Saturday. did that last year. Well, we did that last time. Every episode, we were tweeting live and we were chatting. And it was so much fun. So I'll be doing that for each episode again this time. And I just can't wait to chat with you. I hope you love it. I love you so much. We'll see you guys in the next Send one. Send good vibes. And I hope you love it as much as I do. Oh, it's going to be fun. It's a lot of fun. I'm excited.